You know what the chat wants? The chat wants Mario talk. <laughs> Dude. I it dumb. Dumb, 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 da dumb, 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 dumb. I mean, let's be first of all, let's start by saying. Miami should have never been in that position to begin with. The fact that they were playing down like that to Georgia Tech all night where the game was nothing Miami at halftime. Uh, Tyler Van Dyke throwing three interceptions. Like, this is a game you should have blown away. But then you survive. Like, that's the game. Like, you play like crap. You don't even really play like crap. Like, you outplayed Georgia Tech in most aspects, but you beat yourself a lot. And you survive. You're at the end of the game. And I was talking to Jordan before the show. I said, you know what? Miami, this is going to look like a terrible win for Miami. But compared to what we've seen around the rest of the country tonight, just getting away and surviving is probably pretty good compared to what happened to other teams. And then they started handing off when all they had to do was kneel. And they're in the shotgun doing like RPO. What the? I Just dumb incredibly stupid bad terrible coaching and you lost because of it f around find out that's what happened you hire mario cristobal to build up your roster we said when you hired him it was a good hire because you know what he's going to do but on the flip side of this and i'm the guy that rated them the highest out of all of our rankings for the for the coach rankings You do know that Mario Cristobal is a proven bad game manager. His teams will not play to their talent level. Like if you're making power ratings, you have to like boost them way up because the talent he's going to recruit. And then you got to bring him down just a little bit because he has a proven track record of being a poor in-game coach. But I've never seen him do something like this. I mean, this is just absolute throwing up all over yourself on national television. Like what, what are you doing? Just knee the ball. You have a 300-yard edge over Georgia Tech before that last insanity happened. Just take a knee. Yeah, like I, I maybe, what are you trying to like pop an extra run to impress the, there were some big-time recruits there, right? Like, Yikes. Are, 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 are you, are, oh. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> right. Are, are, are you trying to like inflate the score? You're not going to get a cover anyway, but like maybe it just makes it look a little better. I, I don't know, but... Um, the chat saying, didn't he do this uh, when he was at Oregon versus Stanford? I don't remember if it's the exact same situation, but yes, there was a lot of stupid clock yeah. management Look, at the end of that game. Mario is a bad in-game coach and a really a pretty bad game manager. That is just what, like, you know what you sign up for if you're a Miami fan. He's awesome from January to August. And in come August, you better hope that the coordinators are good enough to see it through. Because in game, Mario Cristobal is a bad coach. Period. I mean, that's just what that is what it is. Did but Lance Gidry do that enough? That was nuts. Did the Miami defense do enough to get this win? Yes. That what, what did they allow before the the what you should have kneeled down? 180 yards? Yeah. I mean, my, Miami's defense didn't throw the interceptions. My, Miami's defense didn't instruct Tyler Van Dyke in the offense to run the football as opposed to just taking a knee. I if you give up less than 200 yards, I, I have a hard time putting on the defense. Like, in, in defense of the members of the secondary on that Georgia Tech touchdown in the last minute there, they were probably busy asking themselves, what the F are we doing? Why didn't we just kneel the ball? And they, they were like, oh, crap, they have the ball and snapped it, and they just caught themselves off guard because they had no idea what happened. Just oh. the it's, it's either extreme stupidity or extreme arrogance. Neither of them are good. So uh, uh, people in the chat are saying that Cristobal did this 2018 against Oregon. If he actually did this and against lost Stanford. the game. It was the oh, Oregon, sorry. Stanford, right. Oregon Stanford game. Yeah. All right. I, we're, we're not going to wait. He's done you. this before? <laughs> no. Like right, listen, this is the instant reaction show. If you're new to this, like this, this is instant. This is raw and uncut. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, listen, uh, Georgia, Georgia Tech is good at math. Yes, he did, actually. So yeah. they already <laughs> knew in terms of tendencies on the algorithm that, you know, Mario would do this. Good Georgia, Georgia Tech offered Mario, but they couldn't get him past the end. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's 
just yeah just all right so okay it's oregon 31 stanford 28 three minutes 10 seconds left stanford has two timeouts left oregon gets an unsportsmanlike penalty to get a first and 25 justin herbert uh is able to uh convert it uh back to a first down so then you got first and 10 here pass complete dylan mitchell oregon or stanford calls timeout cool second and seven at your own 39 cj verdell runs four yards to the 43 timeout stanford stanford's now out of timeouts now justin herbert bootleg for seven first down at the 50. stanford is out of timeouts you have a minute and 35 left in the game verdell runs for seven Verdell runs for three, which, by the way, is another first down. Verdell fumbles. Stanford nails a long field goal to send it to overtime. Stanford wins in Eugene. This is not the first time that Mario Cristobal has failed to kneel on the ball, and that is incredible. And, you know, they say past is prologue, which is why Chip Patterson knew to take Georgia Tech at 10-1 to in the money line sprinkles on Thursday. College this is not this is not like an outright fade as much as it would be acknowledging how hilarious college football can be because after you lose to Bowling Green what would be funnier than to turn right around and go beat Miami in their house Miami which is coming off the off week right You've had all these days to think about how you're undefeated, how you're feeling good. I mean, I, I saw somebody try to share with me, like, if the BCS computers were here right now, Miami would be like a top five team. Oh, man, if, if they're starting to get a little bit of that, now you're starting to think national championship. And I just think, especially off the Bowling Green loss, that this Georgia Tech team, which lost by one score to Louisville, was right there with Ole Miss. They've got mess around and find out capability, at least at plus 890 or plus 900 <laughs> or whatever ridiculous I can number. Get you, I can get you 10 to 1. I, I know what you're doing. I, I see your record in sprinkles this year. You're trying to earn it all back <laughs> with one pick. They've got what energy, Chip? They've got mess around and find out energy? Go this way and this way. <laughs> You mess around this much, you find out. Yeah. Thank you, Jordan. For uh, I, I didn't see in the chat we had that primed up. That's so good. Um, I mean, George, Georgia Tech will not be in the top twenty-five. No, but they should be. Darn it. Will Miami? <laughs> 